All right, we're just going to pick right back up into working with a free Toast Toast website. And I'm going to share my screen. And we might go back one step just to just to see if we missed anything uh, from the previous session. Uh, all right. I'm sharing my screen. And we can close some of these tabs. All right, that's the, oh. Uh. All right, here we go. Okay, so in case somebody is watching this video for the first time, we are reviewing uh, the free Toast Toast website, uh, which is the uh, free Toastmasters hosted websites uh, for your club. And you can, every club can have one. They don't get one automatically, but they can sign up for one uh, for free and uh and that's, that process is pretty easy. And for the most part, as long as you know where to go, um, it's, it's fairly user-friendly in, in how to make things happen. Um, so we had talked about the web basic website settings, the membership management uh, of, of the clubs. Now, I do wanna show you that, and this is relevant to setting up agendas as well, because the members will be signing up for roles on agendas. Uh, so the member login. So once again, once you uh, sign up your members through the member membership management, and they they get an email and they can set a password um, to log in to the site. Then, when they log in, they'll click member login. And if you haven't done this before, you can use the email associated, your name by itself, or your username uh, that you've created. Um, I think. I, I think you should, no, you can log into toastmasters.org with your member number. So I don't think you can log in with your member number. But if I just go ahead and start typing Jared, you can see that my name go, pops up automatically and the password that I've previously saved uh, for this site, assuming I get it right. All right, that was good. Um, so if you need to reset your password, it is a little bit complicated. You put in your, you select your name from the drop down there and you leave the password space empty, blank and then hit submit. And if you do that, it'll send you a, an email to reset your password. So that one's, that's a little funny um, way of doing it that, that I haven't seen from other sites, but uh, it works. So uh, we, yeah, we had looked at membership management um, and then, yeah, I think we were good on that. We tried, we looked really closely, really quickly at, uh, at custom pages this can be really rich and useful uh, that, uh, and we didn't get into it very much, but really, really useful for different things that you might do uh, through, through, uh, through your website. So for instance, if you're having an open house or a special page or an announcement or just something more fun uh, that you would like to set up, like we have this, this older page of just the, the officers, something for the offers to, officers to, to talk about themselves and so you can get to know our club a little bit better. Um, so that's, you know, different things like that. So Jared, uh, just to be clear on this, this is setting up additional pages on the, your club's free toast host site. Is that right. correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, and it's just one, a single page by itself. Um, and you, yeah, it's just a blank slate and you can give it, it, you know, its title, its own title and the URL that it would go, uh, be, accessible by. So here you can see there's a slash and then my page. So that whatever you set there is, uh, so if you do like, you know, open house, we're going to put an open house here. Um, and then that's going to be the end of the URL uh, is going to be open house. Um, and then that shows up on the free toast toast site. Yeah. So it'll link? show up over here on the side as a new. Okay. Uh, uh huh. So like I showed you that this Speak of NASBA guest packet was one of ours, uh, our custom pages. So everything mm -hmm. under this double line here mm -hmm. is going to be the custom, uh, the custom pages. Okay. And when you set up that guest packet, that actually downloaded a document rather than taking you to a page. Right. Um, so let me show you that. Wait, let's go back to, go back to here. Um, Da, 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 da. Uh, parents? No, that's not it. Oh, come on. come on. There it is. Uh, members only. Uh, public access. 
unlisted. Um, where am I missing it? Uh, oh, maybe it's just a link by itself. So if you just do the link by itself, it automatically sets it as a link instead of uh, a custom page. That's probably okay. what it is. Okay, because I was trying to, I thought there was a drop down to choose which one, if you wanted it a, as just a link or a, a custom page by itself. Okay. But that might be, it might automatically choose it. I bet that's what it is. Um, yeah, so custom web page content or link URL. So if you put the URL by itself, then that's all it will be. Otherwise you can go, we're having an open house and you can change all the settings and add pictures and things like that. I understand. Thank you so much for that clarification. Okay. And then down below, you can pick if you want it to be uh, publicly listed or unlisted. So if you're done with that page, you don't want to be on your, your site anymore, you can delete it or you can just say unlisted and not show up anymore. All right, we need to get to agendas. So I'm going to skip through that, um, but it is useful. Uh, all right, so this is uh, this is not where the, the members will go for agendas, but this is where you can set up uh, some things that will help you when you're uh, managing agendas. Uh, so global settings, well, you know what? I'm gonna change course just a little bit and make sure that everybody can see what the agendas look like first, and then we'll skip backwards um, and go back to the, the setup part of it. Um, so the, 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 this is the club agenda. So each agenda for a Toastmasters meeting. Now you can do this manually. A lot of people do, and some people like different uh, layouts of the agenda itself. Um, but this, it's so, it's just click and click and you're done. And it, it doesn't take hardly any effort uh, once you get this set up and rolling. Um, everything, after, everything after the setup almost takes care of itself. Um, so it, it, it really is pretty easy. Um, so the, you as an admin or you as a member uh, would click this meeting agendas uh, link on the side. And the first thing that's going to come up is whatever the next meeting is. So the very the next the upcoming meeting is going to be the default page that you see here, uh, and then you can choose to view a, a few in the past or a few in the future uh, agendas that have been uh, already set up. So you can see here now I had to unfortunately nobody had signed up for uh, many roles, <laughs> so <laughs> I had to uh, sign up everybody. So Kimberly, if you didn't know that you were going to be doing something, um, there you go. Uh, so I went ahead and signed up just so you would know what it looked like. Um, so you can tell that I've customized this a little bit. I added a, a, a picture and a theme. This is going to be our theme for the, for the meeting. Uh, and then uh, the agenda is already signed up. You can see there's a few placeholders still open uh, for people to choose a role if they haven't signed up for anything yet. And uh, it'll say sign up here if you're logged in as a member. If you're not, it'll say log in to sign up. And then once you once you just once you click that, now I'm Wordmaster for for this uh, for this meeting, and that's all it takes. Um, unless unless I broke it somehow, maybe I signed up for too many roles. There we go. So I'm signed up as Wordmaster now, um, but I'm changing my mind, so I'm just going to take that take that off. All right, and that's all it is. So once everybody, so you can send out an email, and you can actually do that through uh, this button here send out a me uh, so we earlier we saw the membership management where you put in all the club uh, members names and emails um, you can email this agenda to the whole club and it comes through the website and you can add a little like be sure to sign up and uh, message and it'll attach the agenda to the email so they can see what's available and they can just go to the website and click sign up on one of these roles um, and it's already taken care of. And then when the Toastmaster uh, is preparing for the meeting, they simply print, uh, print or download this agenda. And you can do that with the second button. Um, okay. And then it, choose your layout, just a, a free Toast Host standard or a Toastmasters layout. There's just, it kind of puts things to different locations um, and that's it. And then now you have an agenda. And that's what this looks like. There are other formats that puts the pictures in and the descriptions in and things like that. So that's like a basic format. Um, there are other formats that are more um, uh, I don't know, involved, prettier. I tell you one other thing I really like about this, Jared, and I just recently used it for a speech because I did some digging 
And I found out we had a, a member that hadn't spoken in a year. Mm. You, you can go in and see what agenda items have been filled. If you keep this up to date, it's yeah. going to help your education chair. It's going to help you so that you can knock yourself off and are performing your leadership roles in pathways. Uh, it's, it's a great tool and it's easy once you get people in the habit of using it and keep it up. Yes, to date. that's why I all whenever I speak, I make sure that my 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 name is on the roll with the, the project I did and the speech title, because you can go up here to this third button. And this is my, one of my favorite things, uh, member role report and just I'm going to do all for all time um, and not no wait, not all people, just me. Uh, all people, and I'm just going to run this. And now I've got a record of every single speech and role that I've ever that I've ever given, um, and it's all listed there for me, speech, just like speech. that. Yeah, yeah. Speech report. There we go. Uh, speech report for me. And this is every speech I've given at this club. Now it's not all clubs; it's this club, but still. Um, so everyone that's that's listed um, on the site here, and yeah. So it's 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 just it's delightful, especially when you're trying to like get uh, an award through Toastmasters, like that's, you know, it's yeah, it's, it makes it wonderful. And so you can a VPE can use that if they need to like you know see where like you said like see where somebody is in their progress. Uh, it's perfect. Uh, all right, so let's go back now that we see what the agenda kind of looks like and how it's set up. Let's let's go back and see how we set set up a template to make this easier. So we go back to the launch admin console and meeting agenda settings. Here is global settings, um, like that drop down of how many meetings you see in the past, you can set that number here, things like that. Um, actually, there was another thing I did. I just did this today. Um, under the, um, let's see if I can go. Uh, I'll do two screens at, at once so I don't have to go back and forth. So you see under the speaker role here, there's a lot of features here and there's a speech introduction. If you have a question or something that you like to introduce your speakers with, so like, you know, where they work, you know, you're, if you all work at different places or, you know, something like that, um, that adds adds uh, flavor to it, or maybe, maybe it's, uh, it's uh, special for this meeting, uh, you can add a, a prompt uh, to that section. And that's what, that's where, where this And comes Jared, from. one of the beautiful parts there is if you pick your speech and the title and everything, the evaluation form is right there. They don't have to dig for it. Yes. All they got to do is hit that agenda button. There's your evaluation form. Wham right. On. Yeah. I, yeah. Let's get to that in just a second. Let me, let me do the template first. And then, um, so yeah, this is what, if you just created a blank new agenda, this is kind of the default. So you saw that I changed it to lessons learned, a new uh, theme for the meeting. Otherwise, uh, it'll, this will they'll be the default for the agenda. And then, oops, uh, I can do that. And then the agenda template. Uh, this is how when you start a new agenda uh, for next time, it's automatically going to pre-populate all of these uh, roles and times um, automatically. So if you typically have, you know, the order of your meeting and how many speakers you usually have and what order you do everything, you can set it all up in this agenda um, template so that you don't have to fill it out over and over again every time. Uh, and you can set how long all of these uh, uh, pieces should take. So, you know, typically five to seven mini, minute uh, speeches, uh, things like that. And then if it's always going to be the same person. So our president, you know, welcomes the meeting. And so that's always going to be Sandra because she's our president right now. So you can set all that ahead of time. So you just don't have to do this over and over again. Um, edit button. So that's how you edit it. Um, delete if you don't want that anymore and move things around. You can either go up and down with these arrows or um, when you're editing the agenda uh, live, you can drag it. Uh, you can drag things around. No, that's not it. I think it's here, if you were to do this, uh, you can drag things like that. And now I don't know where I put it. There we go. All right. So yeah, uh, move things around. And then you set the agenda, set the name of it, and you can create new role agendas. So if you, if you have something that's not typical, or, or you're just starting this for the first time, so you have a joke master role, um, you can put that in there, describe what the role is and how long it should take. 
and add joke master to your agenda, uh, something like that. So that's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward there. And then, so here's one that I just did. So like every year you're gonna have a speech contest or an open house or something like that. So I just set up this open house uh, template not long ago. Uh, and then, so I'm gonna put in a closing remarks as our last item. And it should take about five minutes and I'm going to assign that role. Nobody needs to sign up for it. It's not a real speech and it should be on the agenda. So that's, that's there. And now we have closing remarks as our last agenda item. And then I'll show you over here how we use that. So we go okay. over back over to here and I'm gonna create a new agenda. So there's a plus sign right there. We're gonna create a new agenda for the 20th. That's when we're gonna have this open house. And I'm gonna use the template for open house that I created, uh, update the start time, always does that. Uh, it'll be Zoom. Uh, so you, you've got uh, locally, so our NASBA location, our Zoom location, or if you need to edit or add or delete, um, you can add a new meeting venue um, there. And then, Meeting description, we can change the description here. Uh, so we're gonna have an open house. And here's, here's a, this one's a little weird. So we're gonna change this image and I want to show you how that works. So I, I double clicked on that, but you can just click, um, if you're starting it for the first time, click on this, this little image icon right there. And then the way that you upload a picture is you have to go, so it's, it starts here to show you what it would look like. And then you go to upload and then choose file. And then I'm gonna do the open house picture that I downloaded on my desktop. Now I'm on a Mac, so this of course is gonna look a little bit different on a PC. Uh, open house, so that's, that's the name of the file, but you have to send it to the server. So now to Free Toast Host has this image in your database. So I can go back over here and now browse server. And then you may not be able to see this, but then I choose the choose the image. Um, and then now it's in there. Excuse me, Jared, where did you get the URL for the image? That right there. So that's yeah. so when I click browse server, yeah, it, it opens up like a window where you can select things uh, on the, the previous video that I did. It, you wouldn't. Are you able to see this? Yeah. You see a bunch of pictures? Yes. Oh, well, okay, good. Preview open. Yeah. And so I select the picture that I want and it automatically mm -hmm. puts that URL in. Oh, okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I, I can't see you like from when it, when you have the option to select from multiple pictures that you've uploaded. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Something's weird about Zoom with that. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing a, a list of pictures that I've already uploaded before and I'm selecting one is all it is. So then it puts it in there. I can change the size of it. I know that's going to be really big. So um, I changed the size of it. And so now it's smaller and I'm going to click OK. And now we have open house and a picture. And that's going to be on the agenda. And that, that part will come up when we get to it. So we save it. And now I can edit the agenda items. And now I can put Sandra in here. And I, we have a guest speaker. Let's say Alfonso is going to give it. And now all that is is saved. So we're going to close. And now our open house agenda is set. Oh, and it sweet. has, we sweet. have the images of the members, um, the, the order of the role, and now I can print it and print 30 copies and be ready for, or I'm downloading the PDF and sending it out uh, in a nice email. And that's as, that's as hard as it was uh, to make that happen. All right. So it's super, super easy. So let's go back to our regular meeting, and I'm going to talk about what uh, what Bert was uh, was saying with the speeches. So here's a is a great a, a great way to keep track of what you're doing. So in here is the the actual levels or projects that you're working on, either through the traditional method or through pathways. Um, so if he's in uh, dynamic leadership and he's on level two on understanding your communication. So you go ahead and select that. So this tells both you what you're working on and the Toastmaster for the meeting what it is you're doing. So they can add this to their introduction for your, uh, for your speech. Um, it's a project description in case you need that for reference or the Toastmaster for reference. Uh, an evaluation form. So if you're an evaluator for the meeting, you come to your site when you're beforehand and you know who you're evaluating. Yes. 
boom, you have yeah. oh, easy. A, a quick evaluation form and it's fillable online. So this is great for like Zoom meetings where you're not in person um, and you're at your computer anyway. And so you can go ahead, um, did great, yes, he did, except he doesn't spell well. Um, so, and then, so you fill that out as you go along or after, you know, however that works. And, uh, and then you can print it and, or save it and send it to or upload it to Pathways um, for the person that you did this evaluation for. Um, project speech title, of course. And then if you have any, anything particular about your introduction um, that adds, adds to your speech, but because of the yeah, introduction. So you can save those project details. Now, another thing about this, um, and Kimberly, our secretary, brought this up, or are you secretary right now, or, or sergeant at arms? I forget. I think she's secretary. Um, at, the end of the, uh, at the end of the meeting, she goes back in to this agenda and corrects or fills in any of the roles that were done um, live during the meeting. And that way, it's uh, for the secretary role of recording me me meeting minutes, uh, you have uh, a nice, again, template already set up to, to record all the stuff that happened. Like, you know, Sydney didn't show, so she's, uh, she wasn't an evaluator, somebody else did. Um, so we, we can do that. So as an admin, I would go up to the top and do this edit button. Um, and then I get full control over, over what I, uh, how to, uh, yeah, all the, all the pieces of the meeting. You could even throw in multiple table topic speakers if you want to keep keep up with who actually gave a table topic. You know, why not? Hey, Jared. Yeah. Can you have multiple admin or women? Um, you can't have multiple admins, but you can, like I said, you can share the admin username and password um, between, you know, who, who needs to use it. Um, so there is just one admin for the, for the site. Yeah. But as a... Um, as a, a VPE or a president, I have access to, uh, to edit the agendas. Um, I hope I can find that. <laughs> Jared, how did you add the table topic speakers? You said you could add the people who actually spoke. Right. Yeah. So you can go down here and just <clears throat> do like role agenda. You can be like table topics, um, two and, uh, this is a role for which members can sign up. Leave that on there. You know, it's a two-minute speech. Uh, save it. And now it shows up at the bottom of the agenda. And Gene did the table topics there. And if I want to hmm. change the location of that, um, I can drag it up back into the, the place where we did table topics. Well, thank you. And then you can just, yeah, save it. So so some of those are like the speech project. Like that's that's not a... A, a, un, a customizable or that's not like a um, a unique role like that's built into the Toastmasters uh, framework so that's why it has all these extra features that go along with it and you can run a report off of off of this um, but the table topics will be um, you know something um, something different uh, that's, okay. a, that's a unique uh, role again um, I'll this will be recorded yeah. if anybody wants to go and watch it after we get it up on the site okay yeah. What, and where will the recordings be? On District 63, there'll be a link. Thank you. Just gotta wait. A custom page. I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't do it today. <laughs> <laughs> um, one more thing: when we're back in person, uh, meeting in person for regular meetings, you can print multiple sign-up sheets, and then take those. So all your next, your upcoming meetings, print all those out, take them to your meeting, and have people sign up, and then you can go in and manually put those in um later by yourself so that's a, another feature there and then yeah you can manage um if you really want people to use this all the time you can see you can use this like whether you're attending or not attending the meeting uh feature so you can tell the president ahead of time just by clicking this um i'm not going to be attending this meeting um as a, another another feature and it will show up in the uh the footer information at the bottom of the agenda we got through most of that. As is getting ready to speak, you guys better bail. All right. Leave, go well, to the I'll main let room. you go and join the, the main meeting now. Thank you for uh thank you for joining. Thank you so much, Jared.